I continue with giving you an example of how to calculate the time. Please remember there are questions on calculating longitudes also, but they are not in your syllabus. You will only be questioned by the time given for two places and, sorry, for one place and the longitude will be given. Or it is understood when you should be knowing the longitude, then they will not give you the figure. For example, a question may come if the time at London is 9 a.m. What will be the time at New Delhi? Now, no longitudes have been given. Why? Because you have just been taught or it has been mentioned in the chapter that London will be 0 degrees. Greenwich passes through London, 0 degrees and Delhi is within India. So we are taking the standard meridian of India that will be 82 and a half degree east. Okay, now we can take this as 0 degree meridian we take it as 82 and a half degrees east. When we draw the meridians, the figure becomes clear to us. We are, have to calculate the time. Here it is 9 a.m. What will be the time over here? Clear? From here to here, there is a difference of 82 degrees, 30 minutes. Clear? This we multiply by 4. And the answer that we get, the answer that we get will be divided by 60 to get the number of minutes and hours and 2 9 a.m. we will add it. We will add the figure. Okay. Or we can take it as 15, 15 like this also we can check the timing. From 1, 0 degrees to 15 here is one hour, another 15 is the second hour, another 15 is the third hour, another 15 is the fourth, likewise the fifth hour. Five hours here we have and then we have 30 minutes here. So from 9 a.m. we ca carry on adding 9 to 10, 11, 12, then 1 and then 2 and then 30 minutes so it becomes 2.30 p.m. Both ways we can calculate with the help of a formula or simply by drawing lines like this. Another example, I've done it. New Orleans is in USA. The longitude is 90 degree west. Alexandria is in Egypt. The longitude is 30 degrees. Now one is in the eastern hemisphere, one is in the western hemisphere. For Alexandria the time has been given as 6 a.m. and we have to determine the time in USA. What will be the time along this longitude? 90 degrees and 30 degrees we add it up, we take it as that is the time gap from here to here, the number of degrees and we get 120 degrees. That multiplied by 4 and the answer divided by 60 we are getting a difference of 8 hours. You can do it on the board without this also if by the line system you go. They do not specify on the method so no problem. Here is 30 degrees that means 1 hour here 15 longitudes here plus 15. So this is 2 hours over here. Here on this side right up till 19 we will have another 6 hours. Right with 15, 15 here. So 6 hours here. Now 6 a.m. minus 8 hours. Now this becomes slightly tricky. So we go by the railway, they go by the hours system. That is why we start counting it backwards because we are moving it towards the west. We are losing time. So uh, from 6 a.m. at 30 degrees, we move on to 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, clear, these are hours, then it will become, this was 6 a.m., then 5 a.m., 4 a.m., 3 a.m., 2 a.m., 1 a.m., then this will be 12 midnight, then 11, 
p.m. it becomes and 10 p.m. of the previous day it becomes so it will be 8 hours difference 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 we are getting here the timing as 10 p.m. of the previous day of the sorry the next day so that's how time calculations are done we will not be doing all the calculations we move over to the term Indians international date line and great circles and that will be the end of the chapter because the continuation is in the next chapter international date line this is the 180 degree longitude or meridian it is a single line clear and when we cross this meridian we either gain 24 hours or we lose 24 hours and for that it is better if you draw this figure to remember it a single line for the 180 degree meridian this is your eastern side this is your western side when you are traveling towards the east you are gaining a day a day is added at the bottom you write when we are traveling towards the west a day is lost or subtracted and you will mention 6 a.m. on 26th December and this will be 6 a.m. 25th December this is Monday and Tuesday the calculations will not be asked you just need to remember this the basic information is here when we are crossing the 180 degree longitude which is called international date line clear we are gaining a day but we move backwards according to the day and when we are crossing towards the west we are losing a day the dates please remember clear so this is very very vital another information about the international date line even though we take 180 degrees longitude it is not a straight line if there are islands over here the line is curved it is a zigzag line and the purpose is to avoid confusion so for international date line this much is to be remembered we come to the two types of circles great circles and small circles most important thing to be remembered all the longitudes are great circles plus the equator and in case of small circle all the latitudes are small circles on what basis do we call them so a great circle divides the earth into two equal halves the center of the circle coincides with the center of the earth when we take the longitudes the side which is facing you and me is the meridian exactly opposite the prime meridian is the 180 degree longitude so they make a circle together dividing it into two equal halves clear and all latitudes the circles do not have the same center as the center of the earth so they don't divide the earth into equal halves of these two types this one is the most important reason they provide short routes remember I gave you one utility of longitudes it helps in 
making traveling faster how the arcs of the great circles the arcs of the great circles prime meridian here on the opposite side 180 degrees pilots and sea captains they follow the arcs of the great circles any two places on the opposite sides of the globe if they are connected by a great circle the navigators move along the great circles to reach it in faster time period so great circles provide shorter traveling routes to navigators by airways or by waterways so please remember this is the major difference between great circles and small circles great circles are all longitudes plus the equator small circles are all the latitudes so we conclude the chapter here and I would request you to go through the back questions any questions which you are not able to answer by yourselves we will be dealing with it in the class thank you